Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to install XAM onto your Mac OS X. Uh, I'm running online uh, on this version and, uh, and then we'll be connecting up the database, we'll be checking that the database works on your local server and then we'll be connecting up via Dreamweaver CS 5.5. So the first thing we do is we go into our browser and we go into xamp.org as so and we go down to xamp for Mac OS 10 click on that and then jump off point installation in four steps we'll download this, we'll install it, we'll start and then we'll test it so we'll be going through these four steps uh, Please feel free to read all of this uh, if you so desire, but um, I'm going to skip this for, for this tutorial. So clicking on uh, step 1 download, you get brought to step 1 download, XM Mac OS 10 1.73. So I'm going to click on this. And this will start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Anyway. And this will download a DMG file, which takes approximately 55 seconds. Uh, once this is downloaded, you need to uh, double click on this uh, DMG file. And um, you know what, I'm just going to pause this until it's finished. Right, it's uh, downloaded now. So I'm just going to click on this DMG file. And it will uh, just say drag and drop. So I'll do that, like so, and this will take uh, approximately <laughs> 10 seconds, um, it will vary from computer to computer. So in 10 seconds it will be finished, about 5, exciting times, yes. There you go, so that's finished, we'll close that. We'll just put this over here, and uh, now I'll just go into my Finder and I'll go to my Applications. I've got a new folder called XM. I'll open that up and I press XM Control. Uh, it's an application download from the internet. Are you sure you want to open this? Yes, and I want to start. Okay, quit that. Now I've got another server running. I shouldn't have applications because I stopped them all. Right, when I get this uh, sorted out, I'll, uh, I'll start up again. Right, um, we'll try again. Yes, there you go. And the problem was is because I had un right try and put in the correct code. That usually helps. There you go. Uh, the problem is that uh, I had another. Um, I had the same version on before, and I installed it for this uh, tutorial, um, and it was still saying it was on. But anyway, regardless. That's working now. I've got the uh, three green lights, so I'll just close this down. And uh, I'll go back to my browser. And here I'm just going to type localhost php. Uh, no, I'll tell you what, just uh, localhost. There you go. And with the new installation, it will ask you which uh, language do you want. Do you want en français? Or Italian, but uh, for the for this one, we'll just choose English, and you get this uh, screen. I'm not going to go too much into this. Uh, you can play around with this all you want. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into the PHP My Admin because we want to test that this database works. So we can see that we have a some databases here, and I can go into my test database. This is uh, default. And uh, I will uh, type in a new table one. 
uh, spell it correctly, table one. Uh, number of fields two. Um, let's just say ID for that one and text for that one. Uh, which is a voucher. Um, let's go to primary, yes. Uh, let's say voucher 50 for that one. So we're good to go. So again, we just. Uh, did I just press drop for that? No, I didn't. I press browse. For some reason, it won't let me browse. Yeah, because it's got no. Yeah, because it's got no information in it, it won't let me do it. But anyway, I can go into table one and insert and say I've got an ID. Don't have to do that, but then I've got ideas. This is. Um, Text, for example. Everything's okay. Go to table one. I can go to browse now. It says this is some text. So everything works as it should here. So that is uh, our installation and our test of our database, which works fine. Okay. We're at 2 minutes and 58 seconds. So I'm going to close this down. And I'm going to open up my Dreamweaver.